Well, aloha. I'm Chef Roy Amaguchi, and I'd like to thank Olakai for having me on this Anywhere Aloha Fridays Summer Barbecue Series. I'm gonna get started on this barbecue teriyaki meat, okay? My father used to make this as a kid. I learned from him how to make it, cooking it for my friends, and now it's time for me to cook for you. So I'm gonna get started with the marinade. So, you know, this recipe is extremely simple. We have our short ribs right here. We have our green onions, granulated sugar, ginger grated, and some chopped garlic, and soy sauce. So what we wanna do is combine all of those ingredients together to start. And normally what I would do is, I would get probably about the same or equal amount of uh, sugar and soy sauce. Kind of stir this together. To this, I'm going to add the uh, the minced or chopped garlic. I have some grated ginger, and then we have the green onions to go with this. And what you want is, you know, without even tasting it, what you want is kind of a syrupy consistency. The viscosity of the uh, of the soy sauce becomes very thick because of the sugar. So. I have the uh, the marinade here. I'm gonna just taste it real fast. Tastes pretty good. I like it more on the uh, the sweet side. You know, there's a lot of people that might like their teriyaki sauce on the little saltier side, or you know, uh, maybe that little salt that comes through. Whereas I like it more of a sweet taste. Uh, it's just the way that, that that my father used to make it, so I kind of like to go with that. So uh, with this. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is, you know, get the short ribs. So, so my father used to marinate the short ribs for about two, three days. What I like to do is actually let the um, the short ribs kind of sit in the refrigerator for about a week after I buy it. Uh, that way, you know, you, you get that little bit more of a, uh, it becomes a little bit more ten tender, uh, in, in my opinion. You know, it's, it, the, the enzyme starts to break, break the tissues down even a little bit more. So. Uh, after about another week of sitting and of course you can leave it like this if you like um, and leave it more of a steak cut but you know I kind of like it uh, a little bit thinner so what I'm gonna do is just cut this in half okay so I have this more like a cow bee uh, which is of course the Korean kind of like the counterpart to the, to the teriyaki Okay, so I have the uh, short ribs sliced. Basically, as you can see, again, you know, you, you got the viscosity, right? You got that thickness, you got the syrupiness. You know, it's kind of like uh, nice and glazy. Uh, it has a nice sheen to it. And you know, all the green onions floating around, you have all the flavors of that coming through to the soy sauce. So what I'm gonna do is just grab the, uh, the short ribs that I cut and just put them in here. Okay, so we have the kiave wood in there. You get the barbecue really hot. Well, I love cooking with the komado because you know, my father used to always use the uh, komado when I was little. So, you know, me and my father cooking with the komado and then, you know, I would come in and jump in and, you know, use it and cook with it also. I kind of fell in love with this uh, cooking method. You, know, you got to kind of watch it because, you know, we don't want to caramelize the, uh, the, uh, the soy sauce and the sugar too much. So what I like to try to do is kind of like flip it uh, every so often so that it doesn't get burnt. You get the nice caramelization, but you know you want the check. It's teriyaki beef that my father used to make for me, and I learned it from him. And this is a great treat to be able to make this for all. 